Hey, thanks for coming today. Um, so in your email you said that you're struggling with math today, okay. Um, integers, okay. So adding positive and negative integers you're struggling with? Okay, so um, before we start, we'll do some practice, but I'm going to kind of go over some of the rules with you, and then we'll see if you can kind of apply those, okay? And something that I think might help you with that is a number line. So, um, when you have two signs, so you're either going to have the minus sign or the plus sign, and those two things will show whether the integer is positive or negative and whether the operation that you need to do is to add or subtract, okay? Um, and it gets kind of tricky when you're adding or subtracting with negatives numbers. So it makes sense that you may be having difficulty with this, but we'll practice and I'm sure that you'll get it. So when we do operations like adding and subtracting with integers, we often end up with two signs next to each other. Um, so it can be very confusing, um, but plus three means positive three, and three is, if you just write the regular number three like this, that um, is the same as plus or positive three. So three or positive three, those are the same things. Um, but we usually don't say, oh, I have positive three or write the plus sign when you have positive numbers. You usually just write the normal number. Um, so you won't see two plus signs when you're adding two positive numbers or two ne a negative and a positive number. So I'm going to give you some of the rules today and you'll have this in front of you as we're practicing. Um, but one of the rules is you, um, when you have a negative and a positive, minus and a plus. So what that means is you have a negative number and a positive number. Okay. Or you could have a positive and a negative number. And whenever that happens, your number will always be um, negative. Okay. So positive plus a negative, that means that you're going to subtract. Okay. So for example, if we had negative 2 plus 6, what you would do is you would say 6 and take away 2 because you're starting at this negative 2 and you're adding 6 to it, so it would be 4. Okay. Right, so another rule is if you have two negatives, when you're adding two negative integers or you're subtracting a negative and a negative, it will become a positive. Okay. And then when you have two positives together, it's always going to be positive. Okay, so plus 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 equals positive. Two negatives equals positive as well. So let's go over some examples together because it probably sounds kind of confusing as I'm saying it, but I think once you see some examples, it will make more sense. Okay, so if we have negative two plus negative three, okay, so what that means is it's basically the same as minus 2 minus 3. OK. 
right? Because when you have a positive and a negative put together right here, that means that this becomes a negative. So negative 2 minus 3 would be minus 5. Okay? Alright, so the next one we have 6 minus plus 4. So since we have 6 minus plus 4, the minus and the plus sign, we have a minus and a plus sign, it becomes a negative. So it would become 6 minus 4, which would equal 2. Okay? Alright, you try the next one. So I'm going to write down for you. I want you to do minus 7 plus 5. So what that means is that you have plus 5, which would be the same as two positives, right? Okay, so go ahead and try this. two negatives. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you have two negatives, what will you turn those into? Good, a positive. So it will become negative six plus two. And what would negative six plus two equal? Good, it's negative four. Nice job. Okay, so let's do some practice sheets together. Um, and I'm going to give you these rules here so you can remember them, okay? But do you have any questions so far? Okay, you just want to do some practice. Okay, so for this first one, and we're going to use this number line because it kind of will help you think about this more. And we'll start off kind of easy. So we have negative 2 plus 8, so... Can you circle the negative 2? Good. Okay, so if you're adding 8, will you go this way on the number line or this way? Okay, yep, you're going to go this way. So you're going to do 8 hops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, and what did you lean on? Good. So negative 2 plus 8 equals 6. Good. Okay. The next one, negative 6 plus 9. So start at negative 6. And then you're adding 9, so your number is going to get... have more value. Okay, so go ahead and do 9 hops starting at negative 6. 1... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what did you land on? Three. Awesome. Very good. Okay, the next one. Negative four plus six. So if we start at negative four. You're adding six. So your number is going to get greater in value. So go ahead and add six. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so negative four plus six equals two. Good. Doing really good with this. Okay, so the next one is negative nine plus three. So where do you think you should start at? Okay, negative nine. And how much are you adding to negative 9? Okay, 3. So let's add that. 1, 2, 3. And so negative 3, 
Okay, sorry, negative 9 plus 3 equals negative 6. Good. Okay, the next one, negative 5 plus 2. So let's start at negative 5. And then we're going to add 2 to that. So our number is going to get greater in value. So let's count. 1, 2. So negative 5 plus 2 is 3. Good. Okay, this one is 2 plus negative 7. So I see here that we have a plus and a minus. When you have a negative, or a minus and a plus, or a plus and a minus, what that means is that you um, are going to actually subtract here. So you're going to start at the 2, and you're going to go back 7, because you're going to subtract. Because when we have a plus and a minus, it actually equals a subtraction sign. So anytime you have a positive and a minus, it becomes a minus. So let's go back. We're gonna, so this would actually become 2 minus 7. So let's go back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 2 minus 7, or 2 plus negative 7 is... One, six plus negative eight. So, what do you notice about this one? Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. So, you have a plus and a minus. So, that means that it becomes a negative good. So, your new problem will be. So your new problem is 6 minus 8. So where are you going to start in the number line? Okay, 6. And then you're going to do how many hops? Backwards. 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 6 minus 8 equals negative 2. Good. Okay, the next one is negative 2 plus minus 5. So we have a plus and a minus. So the plus and the minus together, we can change that into one operation. So what would you change it to? Good. Negative. So our new problem is negative 2. Minus 5. Okay? So we're going to start at the negative 2. And we're going to go back 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What did you get? Good. Negative 7. Okay, the next one is negative 3 plus negative 2. So I see here we have a plus and a minus, so we can change that into one operation. What operation would you change that to? Okay, so you think the plus and the minus, it will become a negative. So what's the new problem? Okay, so negative 3 minus 2. And where should we start? Okay, negative 3. We're going to go back how much? Two. Okay, so one, two. So negative three minus two equals negative five. Good. Okay, so now that we did some of those together, um, I would like you to do this one, this one, and this one, and this one on your own. And then I'll check over them, okay? If you have any questions, let me know. And then here are our rules, so don't forget as you're doing these, okay?
let's look over these together. Right. So, first one says 2 minus negative 4. So, I see here that you said 2 minus negative 4. You changed your 2 minus signs to a plus. Good. Which would mean that you would have 2 plus 4 equals 6. Nice job. Okay, the next one is 6 plus negative 3. So, you changed the sign to just a negative because you had a plus and a minus. And then you said 6 minus 3 equals 3. Good. Very good. Okay, this one. Negative 10 plus negative 4. So you changed the plus and the minus sign to a negative, and you said negative 10 minus 4 equals... A 6. Negative 6. It's not negative 6, so think about the number line here. And you start at negative 10. Okay? And you're gonna go this way, the number line, because you're taking away negative you're taking away 4 from that negative 10. So you're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4. So you would have negative 14, actually. Okay, this one, negative 18 minus negative 7. So it looks like you change these two negative signs to a positive or a plus. Good. So your new problem was negative 18 plus 7. And you got negative 11. Good. Very good. Um, okay. That looks really good. So, um, okay, so I think that you're doing a really, really nice job with these. Um, and I think you'll do awesome with this. Um, but if you need any additional help with this, let me know. Um, email me. I can certainly help you more with this um, in case you're struggling or if you still feel like you don't really understand it, but it looks like you're doing a really good job. Um, I would just continue to remember these rules and use your number line to help you because that kind of helps you understand which way you're moving and that why the number is getting larger, why the number is getting smaller. Um, but yeah, I doing great, so have more confidence in yourself and you'll do awesome. Um, but thank you for coming today. Um, hope you have a good night. Goodbye!